Ah, oh, hello there. Good to see you. It's nice to meet you too. Yeah. Where are you? In the in the real world. <laughs> I am in Oregon, mm -hmm. on the west coast of the United States. Ah, oh, there you go. I'm on the east coast, uh, yeah. or in the middle of Japan here. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to go in into this teen space place here. Uh -huh. I think you will okay. be able to follow me automatically so if i go in here ah oh, here we are hello yeah we've made yeah. it we made it yeah <laughs> yeah i've, the, I've, the, I've built this case it's uh, yeah, it's a staircase. Uh, it's uh, I, I made little challenges for people. So uh, if you, you you can try to climb these stairs, and uh, you will fall down if you step misstep. So I did that. I built this. Uh, it took me a couple of months, and I didn't know how to fly at the moment at that time. So uh, <laughs> I, I okay. fell. I fell for two months. <laughs> it was getting higher and higher. I had to take one block and you know make a new one and. And put it higher, and then step up, and and then I, I fell off. And uh, actually, when it would, got pretty high, it was a little bit scary in the in the beginning. Right. But uh, you can actually there's a shortcut as well if you don't want to do that. So you behind you here, there's a little ball, and the if button. you touch if you touch that ball, you you will uh, teleport halfway up, and then there's another ball right. there, another ball there. You touch that again, and then you can. Teleport halfway. The rest of the what halfway. about jumping? Yeah, you can jump pretty high, and you can even fly. Uh, whoa! I fell through. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's right. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Very good. See if I can, yeah, there you are. Doing good so far. Yeah. You know how to fly, Except for sure. <laughs> if you sit on, if you, if you can sit on the floor, it's much easier. You, you go in here and then you have to go very gently, very gently under here. Like this. And then it should work. Yeah. And this is how the sort of the tea ceremony works. You know, I used to uh, you, uh, work as a, a tour guide, a real tour guide in, in Japan. And then we'd visit uh -huh. uh, tea houses and people could try the tea ceremony, uh, a, a very simple version. Uh, so we had a few guests and, and then the guests that would be, yeah, just like where you are now, sitting lined up uh, along there. And then you, you right. get a, li a, little, a little sweet each of you, and then you, you 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 get the tea. And this this is. Have you ever seen the tea ceremony be, being performed? No. So it's a very very ritual thing. In every movement that the tea master performs is uh, ritualized. So there's a kind of they have to follow the rule book for every hand movement, every you know, pulling out the handkerchief, putting it back again, how to pour the water, how to put on the lid, and everything. Everything is a Regulated and and there are different schools for it as well. So the different schools do it ah, different ah, ways. Okay. Yeah. Right. Right. So I guess part of it is to go into some sort of a meditative state, meditation state, so that people just forget about the out, uh, outside world. They left their weapons behind. They left everything behind. Now we are all just kind of equals here in this space and you right. know st stressed down. So I think. Part of it is, is, is all, enjoying these hand movements and all the ceremony is uh, 
kind of a meditation kind of thing. Right. That's why these tea bowls are in, were so important because they were sort of centerpiece of the whole thing. So that the whole idea of this world is to uh, show the backstory of tea bowls and make them more sort of interesting and exciting to to people who who never been to our cities. The city is called Tajimi in central Japan in Gifu Prefecture, and uh, okay. yeah, pottery is the big thing there. So. Uh, what happens is that I supposed to boil the water and pour in the water and put in the tea, and then uh, this tea bowl here. The thing is that well, some people uh, say that maybe it's because they suspected that people put poison on the edges of it, because this was you know uh -huh. as I said uh, a dangerous time and people would assassinate each other as well. So. Right. So in order to avoid that, you're supposed to turn it. And this is a little bit tricky maybe, but you turn it twice that, that way, and then you drink from it, and then turn it back again twice like that, then hand it back. And then the, <laughs> okay. the master, yeah, he puts in the, the new tea again and then goes on to the next person. But this takes this can take an hour or two. We do it in a you know, very, very right. compressed way here, but just to right. show the idea. So I'll see here if I can if I can hand over one to you now and serve this to you. Okay. Then you use your controller, yeah, and you turn it twice. And, oops, oh. yeah. Uh, That's probably a major faux pas to, to, to <laughs> drop the teacup onto the ground. Yeah, but it, it's uh, everything is okay in here. And then you, you drink with two hands. You just drink it like that. With two hands? Uh, well, it's difficult with this one, but you can use one hand here. And, uh, yes, but like I, I get the idea. Yeah. Right, okay. And then turn, and it then back, you... turn it back the other way. And then just... Uh, I'm going sure, to make sure this time I don't drop it. Yeah. <laughs> and then they hand it back with one or two hands. Uh, well, it's actually two hands, but you can use one hand if it's easier. And just hand it back like that. And thank you very much. Yeah. This is uh, more like a uh, um, wood look. And that's the medieval style dress over there. So you can dress up if you want. Yeah, that's all. Okay. Yeah. Looking pretty good. You know, I'm wearing that guy. Yeah, <laughs> you're wearing right. that guy, yeah. So, uh, there was a, a tea master called uh, Senorikyu. Uh, he was the most famous one, and he was uh, sort of the teacher of all the most famous. We have three powerful warlords that took over in succession. One died, and then the next took over, and so on and so forth. And they all tried to unify um, Japan, because, but Japan wasn't unified in the in the Middle uh, Ages. The first, I, I think I know the, the name of the first yeah. one. Yeah. And that would have been Oda. Oda. Exactly, Oda Nobunaga. And uh, he was, uh, yes. well, he's, he's kind of a local hero here in, in, in this area. He was a uh, very yes, kind he of... he was from the, the center of Japan, yes. Yes, yes, uh, our area. And, and he uh, he was very actually open to new ideas. He imported... He, Successful in the sense that he imported guns from 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 the West, so you know yes. the first time they could have uh, firearms, and uh, that made him very powerful. And he he liked to dress yes. up, up in in Western clothes, and he was very liberal in that sense. But uh, he was assassinated, uh -huh. and lo lots of blood in this story. But the the tea master as well. His tea master was this uh, uh, Senorikyu, and uh, I I have dressed him up in white here. This dress I have no, no, now is more like the normal colors, but when you sim commit right. suicide, you, you dress up in white like that. And uh, the okay. next, the, 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 the successor to Nobu or Oda Nobunaga was uh, Toyotomi Hideyoshi, and he was very suspicious. He also had his teacher, same teacher, but very, very suspicious. As I said, he was, uh, uh, he was convinced that this tea master was listening in on the conversations and spreading information to the enemy. So in right, the end, he, right. he ordered him to commit suicide. Maybe you have heard of that, uh, ha harakiri or seppuku, as they call it here in Japan. Uh, yeah, I'm familiar with the term seppuku. Yeah, seppuku. And uh, 
you know, it's the ritual suicide, very cruel uh, kind of uh, execution method. But I tried yes. to make, make make the knife. You know, my I, when I started, you know, I, I imagined that people would use the normal katana swords to cut themselves, but that's not possible. Right. I, I tried; it's too long, so you have to have a short uh, kind of dedicated weapon for that. And uh, looking right. something like this with a with a little cloth around it to hold and uh, you dress up in white and uh, they have uh, this little uh, stand for it as well you sit down there and uh, try to kind of simulate it here so you're supposed now to cut yourself up and uh, I read somewhere that uh, in in those days uh, they thought that you had seven important kinds of guts inside you so uh, those were supposed peel it out properly so you cut across ah. uh, gross. well most of the time apparently they, they would they, you would have an assistant that would cut off your head before you come that far but uh, right but if not uh, then it would be a very gruesome procedure so he had to do oh, this yeah. and yeah it's a very uh, horrible story but that's how it was in okay. those days yeah yes so yeah, it, it was a dangerous time and to pick up a bow with your left hand. And then you just push your button with the index finger like that, and then you should get an arrow on it. And then yeah. you can try to shoot down these people. And you have you have unlimited number of arrows, so... There. Oh, I got it. You see, I got the head there. It flew off. Could you see I that? I do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it might... Interesting. Yeah. If you if you walk over here to the side, because I have put up a collider, so you can't walk through there. So otherwise, people will will choose. But if you walk around like this. We can walk up close. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You have to walk out on the side, far out on the side. Big U turn over here. <laughs> ah. Somewhere here, I think. Somewhere in this area. If you come a over here. Oops. That's okay. <laughs> so these archers are, are made actually according to the way they actually looked in those days. And they're, as you see, they're lined up in a line. I, I have cheat, been a little bit lazy. They're, you're supposed to have two lines, and the other right. line behind them are lying down on the floor, and they are reloading. And these people are shooting, okay. then progressing uh, a bit, laying down, and the other ones are progressing like that, taking turns, advancing towards us here. So if, uh, right. if the game was a little bit more advanced, you'd have two lines of arrow, um, archers, and they would be coming forward to, towards you all the time. Right. Shooting. One, one line is shooting. The other one is on the floor moving forward. That's how they did it. Shot oh, shoot, from the hip. Shooting from the hip, yeah. <laughs> you get extra points. Yes. I yeah. use those when I play uh, Rec Royale. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. I have another another little experience here behind the wall here. What is over here? Here, I have this uh, sword. Uh-uh. And um, mm -hmm. this is how it works. When, you, when you're testing a new uh, sword, then you cut off a bamboo like this. They make them like this, and then you, you, you are supposed to right. cut them off properly. And uh, it's just one that works, I think. Or maybe the, the red one, yeah, the red ribbon one. Uh, you can 
if uh, you're lucky. Yeah, there you go. I see. Yeah. Ah, that one doesn't work. Just now. that one. Yeah. Okay. So that's the the idea of that. Yeah. It's not right. Almost like one of the quests. Exactly. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, so I made all this for, for the local government here. So this is actually a job that I'm doing right now. Right. And we're on a contract. So, yeah, they pay us monthly to invite people. We've had 20, this week now, 23,000 people um, coming around. And I, I haven't uh, uh, had to visit um, where your office is. No, this in this place. You've had twenty three thousand people come to this room. Yes, yes. Nice. But I haven't had uh, tea Please, with all of ahead. them. I haven't had tea with all of them. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Uh, just, very... a, just a few. <laughs> there would be tea poisoning. Yeah. But actually, right, the, it's, right. it's, the, the nice thing about this is it's very kind of personal. If we get into a conversation like this, we can spend time together. So lots of people coming back. And uh, I suspect that several of them, after this COVID thing is, uh, you know, over, that they will come right. in, pe in person as well. And, and that's the end goal of it, of it. Right. Yeah. We have one guy okay. from Taiwan, for instance.